This is OG vintage and I refuse to get rid of it even if the trend has totally died. I'm sure by the time my daughters are old enough, the trend will come back. Hi, happy Friday. Welcome back to Vintage Splendor. If you're new here, I'm Annette and today I'm really excited to style up your style requests. So over the last month, I have asked you for some of your style challenges or just your style requests so we could have a little bit of fun styling up some really fabulous vintage pieces for various occasions. Some of them are like right up my alley and some of them are gonna require a little bit of me stepping out of my comfort zone which is what i love i love being able to think of like new outfit formulas and go to styles and pieces and just to try out trends for myself i am excited to dive right into styling your requests as you can imagine i got so many requests but i'm going to try to work through as many of them as possible some of them i can combine there was a lot of requests for spring and summer styling and i think that will probably require its own episode but there are some that i'm really excited one of them was elevated pirate like how fun is that and i feel like this vintage young edwardian jumpsuit is kind of giving pirate vibes so i don't know maybe i could work with this piece or just get a little creative in my closet so i'm gonna just talk through each of these requests and then we'll go into the closet we'll go through the styling process and then i'll show off the look so let's get started okay do i look official with my laptop and i've got this list going and yes, I recently started wearing glasses when I am working away at the computer. So the first request, and again, as I mentioned, there was a lot of requests for uh, styling summer and spring looks, but there were also a lot about styling them with flats. Listen, I get it. I feel like since the pandemic, most of us are really into sneakers, into flats, and there's like no reason for heels. And I am a vertically challenged woman. I'm 5'3". It's not that short, but I'm still on the petite side. So sometimes when I do wear pieces that I feel like, you know, would look better with heels, I second guess myself into wearing flats or not. But I'm going to show you how you can style up really great fashion forward looks, wearing flats. This next one is so my vibe. It is styling up a modern Alexis from Dynasty. If you're not familiar with the original Dynasty, Joan Collins played the character of Alexis and her style is exactly what you imagine. That amazing 80s style to be like over the top suits, huge ruffled shoulders, glam, gaudy pieces. I am ready to style that up in a very modern way. This next one, can you style camo pants, but in an unexpected way for you? Okay, so I'm assuming you're talking about me. So, okay, I have some thoughts about doing this and I don't think I'm gonna try and do this like combo of dressed up down. I think I'm just gonna have fun with it and I don't know where that's going, but once we get into the closet, that's where the magic happens, okay? Can you style turquoise jewelry without it looking too Western? Turquoise is my favorite semi-precious stone. I have a lot of turquoise. Yes, I will show you this. Let's get to the jewelry section so we can pull out a couple of pieces of turquoise that I have and I can show you how I would style that. Ooh, okay. I'm seeing a lot of jerseys being styled up streetwear and at fashion week i would love to see your take on styling up like a jersey in a more fashionable way this is really great because i just thrifted a kids like it's a boys jersey and i got it because it says gold on it so we will style that up okay and then this last one is my friends and I have been getting together yearly for the last 15 years for a themed girls night out. The purpose is for us to dress on theme without looking too costumey. I love that you do this. Um, so far we've done animal print sequins, crayon dressing. This year's theme 
is Western Cowgirl. We're all city girls from Montreal. So besides cowboy boots and cowboy hats, what a bit of a loss. Any ideas? Okay, this is really fun. I'm excited. Definitely cowboy boots or Western boots and a hat like give you that vibe but i'm going to show you some ideas for just like giving it a little bit more of an elevated look and not looking like you're wearing a costume even though i do like to look like i'm wearing a costume when i get dressed um okay i think we're gonna do that let's go in the closet Baby. for the camo look i said i don't want to overthink it i just want to have some fun I don't have camo pants. I have camo Bermudas, which I love. These were actually men's pants. I cut off, turned into Bermudas, and I grabbed this vintage Carol Little flowy button down. I'm just going to throw this on over the shorts. These are a little bit lower on the hips. I would typically probably reach for a crop tee or like a cropped little sequin blazer jacket. I'm having, I wanna have fun with just the different textures and just overall styles of these two pieces. I think a lot of times you'll see camo pants styled with sweatshirts or maybe a denim button down and a blazer. I'm just gonna try this and throw on some heels and just try something different. So I mentioned I just got this kid's jersey and I got it because it says gold and gold is my favorite. And I am going to style this with a skirt because person said unexpected and that for me is a go-to. So actually I'm thinking it'd be perfect with my... Oscar de la Renta skirt. This is a set, but I rarely wear it as a set. I always like to mix it up. So I think this would be good. Mashup of styles. I'm gonna add a belt, of course, and then style this up because I'm sure every mom who has a kid is probably doing sports. So you could just reach into your kid's closet and style this up. The fun thing with this one is it is reversible. For Alexis, I really want to preserve what made her style so iconic. Bring her into 2024. So this little cropped jacket is perfect. It's very Alexis. I love the pretty shoulder detail. I love the buttons. And I realize I'm missing a button and I'm going to add a belt to this and then I'm going to pair it with some shorts. The shorts are very 90s. They're part of my three-piece cachet set. I want to bring these two together and just give it a very, very modern feel. And it's going to have to do with the shoes and the accessories. For summer and spring dressing with flats, I'm going to do color and prints. You know I love color and prints. I mean, spring and summer is the occasion to bring out all of the colors. Um, this is a 70s knit halter. It's a little big on me, but I like that it's not super form-fitting. And then this is a vintage silk eye magnet skirt. This is going to work really well together. Once I get dressed, I'm gonna show you how adding feminine touches are so important for styling up pieces with flats because when it comes to styling flats, I think sometimes we may feel, and maybe the we is more me, I feel like I just look really, really short. I almost look like a shrimp, but my trick is to add feminine pieces and really show off my silhouette. That way, like the whole ensemble is complementing my petite frame and I don't look like I'm overwhelmed by all this fabric. When it comes to styling turquoise, I want you to think of it as a beautiful styling tool to add color to your outfit as well as this beautiful like natural element turquoise really grounds you and connects you to mother earth not to get a little woo woo on you that's why i love it it's my favorite stone i think it looks beautiful on so many skin tones i think it looks great paired with so many different colors and even though a lot of times it can lean a little bit more like southwest or cowgirl vibes 
you can style it up with a great 80s or 90s get up and have it look really really modern and fresh so i pulled out this 90s carl lagerfeld this has a really pretty silk top this is cotton jersey and i'm going to style it up with my large chunky turquoise necklace i have a few turquoise necklaces one of them is just the beads which is a little bit more i would say elevated refined look but i want to show you how we're gonna dress this up and give it that look that you're hoping for this is the necklace that i'm going to add to the outfit as you could see it is statement it is chunky it is natural turquoise i love it i got this at the flea market the vendor wasn't sure if it was real turquoise or not so i took a gamble came home tested it it is the real deal and as you can see it just adds the perfect pop of color and it's a statement with every outfit so i like to put this on when i just want to add more color i'm usually not a matchy matchy person but i'm gonna add in this bracelet this is sleeping beauty turquoise and as you can see this is native american jewelry which can lead very um southwestern and you know a little bit more of that like western vibe that you wanted to move away from so i'm going to put both of these pieces on so you could see how styled with a 90s carl lagerfeld and 90s celine bag can look really fresh can look really modern and be great for date night El fin. I mean, look at how great this looks. I mean, can you imagine this outfit without the turquoise necklace now? No, I feel like gold or silver or no necklace at all would be so boring. But both the bracelet and the necklace have added that perfect touch. And I would say don't shy away from having fun with turquoise. Of course, it's all about the pieces that you decide to pull in with a turquoise if i wore this with like a fringed you know vest and a skirt that would definitely lean very western but pairing it with something that's really elevated that is like from the 90s you could even do something from the 40s and it could be really fresh and modern okay i'm definitely gonna belt this and add some heels i would say the way that i would probably style this and the way that i imagined styling this jersey when i got it was with one of my vintage levi's some heels a baseball hat and some like jewelry some earrings and then like a chanel bag just like as a go-to casual look but instead of a t-shirt it would be a jersey just to change up one of my go-to formulas so i'm excited to try this out and see how it comes together i think this is the belt I'm gonna put on and then judge. And then if we need to make some adjustments, we can do that. And again, I like having fun with the unexpected, especially if it's not something I would typically wear or style up in a particular way. I think this is the whole point of this is to have fun with some style challenges. Okay, I like this. It's unexpected for me. I hope unexpected for you. This is super fun. Um, I have to say, I just used one of my other outfit formulas. I've got a lot of outfit formulas and I'm not even a math person, which is I would usually wear the skirt, the belt, the heels with a sweatshirt, but I just decided if it works with a sweatshirt, it'll probably work with a jersey because we know a jersey is going to look great with more casual wear, but I'm loving this. I love the colors. I love that we've got 60s Oscar de la Renta. 80s we've got kids wear we've got more recent mark jacobs we've got print play happening oh i love this okay so i think we are all adding some jerseys to our thrift list right okay cowgirl we've got two options for belts for you if you have a conch belt like this one easiest way to make something look a little bit more western and the other option is just go for a cognac or brown leather or suede belt i'm going to style it up with this belt even though i really want to do this one because look at how great this is going to look i just want to show you how you can use what you already have in your closet and just add in some 
cowboy boots and a cowboy hat and it's not going to be your like typical western look but you're still gonna look super cute you're gonna look like western cowgirl but you're gonna look better than your friends so i'm not gonna do the hat but i'm gonna add in this scarf so this is a vintage silk scarf it was my grandmother's again probably something you have in your closet that you probably wouldn't consider western but together it's going to give it that look i think you want okay i think i'm coming to montreal for your little girls trip i'm feeling the vibe i love this i mean what did i tell you you don't have to like reach for the like go-tos like jeans, fringe, suede, vest, denim, and all of that stuff. I really love going a little bit more cottage core feminine vibes when I do western or cowgirl. It just looks a little bit different and it's really fun. And I have three different types of florals happening here. It just comes together really, really nicely. A, you're going to be comfortable wearing cowboy boots all night because who wants to wear heels these days? If you don't have any gunny sacks like opt for Laura Ashley or something along those vibes and then you could keep the top really simple if you don't have enough floral pieces in your closet but I think a belt will pull it all together. And I like the addition of a little floral silk scarf just to keep it really feminine and really fun styling. So how did I do? I need to know what you end up wearing for this girls weekend because I love that you all do themes and I kind of want to be part of it. Modern day Alexis is here to tell Gen Z she is the queen of gaudy glamour. She's the one who made bold shoulders, huge earrings, fabulous gold lame, sequins, florals, all the things happen and she will fight you for it. I mean, she would like got into so many fights with Linda Evans, right? On that show, they would like pull hair. But modern day, Alexis does very much still have uh, 80s and 90s flair. This is what I think she would wear today. I would wear this as her biggest fan. So the top, the belt, and the shorts are all 80s and 90s, which of course gives it a little bit of that nod to the original dynasty, but added in this modern basket bag, which is a little bit more of a 60s vibe. And then my heels are newer Sophia Webster I think this is what you know what ladies who lunch wear these days who are you know in Alexis's tax bracket they're probably just wearing a little bit more St. John and less cachet I'm going to show you my spring summer outfit with flats but first I wanted to show you the three flats that I think I wear the most in the spring and summer because they're not simple. They're not like basic black or nude flats, which I feel like fashion magazines have sold us on this idea. In order to get longevity and wear out of pieces, they need to be as boring as possible, but I disagree. These are the three flats that I wear most often. And I know you're probably gonna say like, Annette, they're designer. You know, I bought all of them secondhand. These are Gucci, they have ginormous, gold and pearl detailing, Chanel flats or net pink canvas, and then the Valentino beautiful green color with the gold studs. So I reach for these all the time because they instantly make every outfit look super stylish. I think especially the green and these black and pearl ones, I can dress up. So I've actually worn this to a really nice event that was on a beach and I didn't want my heels digging into the sand, but I still wanted to look really, really elegant. And these actually were so amazing. People stopped me to ask me about them because they're like genius, like really elevated flats. So I reach for these all the time because they add a pop of color, they're fun, they're comfortable. And honestly, the amount of wear I get out of these, like the cost per wear is probably pennies at this point. And if you are like me and you like a lot of color and you like adding prints, you're going to get a ton 
ton of wears out of pieces like this. So with this outfit, I could probably wear all three of these and it would look really fun. It would be a very stylish outfit. So let me show you which ones I picked. This is my spring summer outfit. I opted for the Chanel clothes show just because they're ballet flats and I think with a sandal you could easily kind of envision what this outfit would look like this bag remember when everybody had this bag they had like the new knockoff of the vintage this is OG vintage and I refuse to get rid of it even if the trend has totally died I'm sure by the time my daughters are old enough the trend will come back but as I like to say, summer is the time to have fun with prints, to have fun with color, go all out. And the way to pull off the flats is to stick with some like feminine detailing. So whether it's like more demure bag or jewelry, and it's especially important to cinch the waist of dresses, shorts, pants, or even skirts, just so you can really, really define your shape and you don't feel like you're being swallowed up by all the fabric. I put on this skirt because it is really flowy. It has this tiered ruffled um, feel to it. And then this top is a little bit more um, of a looser fit on me. So I wanted to show like how this could just really be pulled together. It's very feminine and I think I look cute. I don't feel weird that I'm wearing flats. I used to feel so weird anytime I would wear flats, but I just imagine this outfit with heels could easily work. And I think this is a great date night um, outfit um, if you want to be comfortable and a little bit more cash. Okay, I told you I was going to have fun with this and not overthink the styling. Um, I opted to go braless in this top whether or not i can pull it off is the question but i just didn't want to have a bra peeking through and the way that the buttons on this are it's like either too low or too high so i would obviously go for pasties but i want to show off my belly because the top is longer the shorts are longer and i want there to be a little bit of flow happening as i'm walking i picked this button down because it is flowy it's not crisp it just kind of adds a really nice feminine touch and i've been kind of talking about that feminine touch a lot today just because i think when you do pull together maybe pieces that are a little bit oversized or more casual it's always nice to have that little ladylike touch just so it looks a little bit more of a style forward outfit as opposed to something that just looks really baggy threw on my little fendi mules and this is a vintage betsy johnson rhinestone clutch that i've had for years so i would say this is like a fun outfit just to wear for a casual lunch or brunch on the go outfit and it's definitely not the go-to camo i think if you look at pinterest for inspo you're gonna get the typical i feel like sweatshirt t-shirt blazer vest and i didn't want to go for anything that you could probably find on your own so i'm liking this i like that it's a more neutral palette but it's not boring Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you are very inspired to try out some of these styling tricks and some of these outfit formulas. I feel like I love to try out trends or just some like ideas for a fun date night or going out with friends and just to have fun with fashion. I always say fashion is an extension of who we are. So just have fun with it and just make it work for yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next Friday at 8 a.m. Bye. Mm -hmm.